fun, I'll be doing the stove top. Although here before too long, in fact, I think the day after tomorrow, we're gonna be cooking recipes. So we're almost done with just straight up eating the can. Just gonna get crazy. Speaking of getting crazy, let's put this fancy Parmesan on this. This is really gonna amp it up. Wait, hold on. This is best if used by March 21st, 24? It's past that. And it's looking kind of grody and, and like wet on the top. Dude, I just had, I was just sick all day yesterday. I don't want to eat. Oh God, it's probably fine. All right, whatever. I'm just going to eat it anyway. It'll be fine. I swear for a long time, I've always felt like I get too upset and like anxious about eating food that's like past the use by date. And recently I was like, you know what? I'm going to stop doing that. I'm going to, I'm going to be better. I'm just going to be like, if it smells fine, it's fine. I'm going to eat it. I'm going to, I'm like going to be less anal about that. Yesterday, I got sick from eating something. And a few days ago, I ate some cream cheese on toast and I thought it was a little old. It's probably fine. And I ate it anyway. And then later that day, I was like, man, that was so good. I want to have some more. I opened it up and realized that there was mold on the top of the lid. So I ate moldy cream cheese. You know what? I think I'm just going to go back. I'm just going to go back to being anal. Going back to anal. I do think this will be fine though. It's only like a couple days and you know, it's just like dry Parmesan cheese. Mmm, fancy. I think it's better. You know, this isn't the first time I've gotten like slightly fancier Parmesan cheese. I don't know. I think I'm just gonna go back using the fake powder because this, this is, that stuff tastes better anyway. This is like just hard strings of cheese. It doesn't melt that well. I'm going back to the powder. Kraft, you got me back. I'm, I'm hooked again. Probably doesn't help that I'm eating it on Jet Boyardee though. Maybe if it was fancier pasta, it would taste better. I gotta say though, this really isn't that bad. I don't care what the Chef Boyardee fans say. It's better than the regular ravioli. All right, tomorrow we have one that I'm really not looking forward to. Uh, I'll see you there. Ravioli, ravioli, give me the formuoli. Welcome to day four of Chef Boy. Before we move on, I'd like to address the allegations. The allegations that I'm sure many of you left in the comments. I just want to say, it's not true, it's fake. I did not wear the same shirt two days in a row. I did not do that. I wore the, I mean, I did, but I also did it because I wore the shirt in the first day because I wore that Zelda shirt and then I got sick, sick that next day. But I, my wife did the laundry, so I did, I had the clean shirt and since I hadn't done the video the day before at that I th forgot that I had worn this shirt on day two so on day three which was actually the fourth day because like I got sick I wore that same shirt but I didn't wear the same shirt I'm glad we got that out of the way we have passed the hump day of this video series day four is always nice because it's like getting past the hump we're getting past the getting getting moving towards the end a little bit and I'm kind of happy for that if I'm being honest because uh, I'm getting kind of sick of eating chef boy RD which is pretty unfortunate you know actually since we haven't passed the hump now that I think about it because I mean there's still four more days for me because I'm just starting this so actually I take back all the optimism that I just had for day four believe it or not we're going to be eating Chef Boyardee I know you're surprised about that but it's one that I've never had before in fact it was one I had to special order Chef Boyardee cheese ravioli in tomato sauce so I'm assuming this one is I mean again big assumption I'm assuming this is vegetarian uh it's not in tomato beef sauce it doesn't look like there is any beef on the sauce can there this was the note that I left myself when I realized that I had the same shirt on. Remember to tell everybody, I'm not that disgusting. Yeah, there's clearly no meat in the sauce. It doesn't specify meat. That's a lot of ingredients. I'm just gonna assume none of that is meat. I'm not seeing a lot of cheese in this. So I don't really know what kind of cheese. Less than 2% of cheddar cheese. It doesn't seem like there's very much cheese in these ingredients. I've never been a big fan of cheese inside of ravioli. They usually use, correct me if I'm wrong, ricotta cheese. I think that's what it is. I don't like ricotta cheese. I, it doesn't really look like there is any ricotta cheese in this again it doesn't look like there's any cheese in this basically so who knows what kind of cheese this is that we're gonna get just gotta get through this and then tomorrow we'll start the cooking the recipes that that'll that'll definitely be interesting i don't think any of them will be good but it'll be interesting let's go to the kitchen we gotta do this in the uh, on the stove top again that i think i've set that precedent now seems a little thicker than the uh meat sauce maybe this will be good i mean it doesn't smell good or look good but it could be good Bad chef boy, bad. Azura is once again Wanting waiting this. for the can. <laughs> is this what you want? This? This? Okay, take it. Be assertive, you can take it. Yeah, take it. There you go. Take it. <laughs> Bye. She's living her best life. 
I, on the other hand, am eating cheese ravioli from Chef Boyardee. All right, I have my prepared canned tomato product meal. Again, it does look like the sauce is thicker. Definitely no meat in it. One positive, I guess, is that unlike the overstuffed beef one, it seems like the raviolis have largely stayed glued in place, possibly by the cheese. The negative side, I don't think it's gonna taste that good. It's only really one negative, though, when you think about it. But hey, you never know. Let's see if we can get a peek inside to see what the cheese looks like. Looks uh, pretty good. I imagine it's kind of a mozzarella cheese kind of taste. Before I eat this, have any of you ever had this before? I have definitely never seen this at the store. I had to special order this one. I had to special order another one that was gonna do tomorrow. I don't even think it's gonna come in time, so I'll have to move it to like day six, I guess. But yeah, Chef Boyardee has a lot of different random things. They have like a butter noodles. I couldn't even find that online anywhere. Even on eBay, nobody was selling that. It's on their website though. Like who's, who's selling this? Apparently it exists somewhere in the world, but I guess some of these more obscure ones don't sell well enough to be like uh, readily available at your local grocery store very often. Anyway, here we go. Enough stalling. Trying to get like a little more of just the cheese. Again, I'm a little bit skeptical of the cheese. I mean, when I looked at the ingredients, I can't figure out how much cheese is even in this, but I can't lie. It doesn't taste that bad. I feel like with this one and the last one, I had kind of set a really low bar. It made it easier for them to pass it, I guess. Yeah, this is not bad at all. This could be a good option if uh, you're vegetarian. Don't take my word for it. I don't, I don't actually know if it's vegetarian or not. Or if maybe you're just grossed out by canned meat, which frankly, I can't blame you. Assuming you can actually find this and you're craving ravioli in uh, under two minutes, you could do worse. I gotta say, it doesn't look very appealing visually though. Uh, maybe I'm stirring too aggressively when I'm cooking it in the pot. That could be why. Like, look at this. This is... Uh... Yeah. And I don't know, am I crazy? But the noodles themselves almost seem to be a little bit more, well, a little bit more less insanely overcooked. That could just be my imagination though. The cheese is not very flavorful, but it doesn't taste like ricotta cheese, which I've always really disliked. The texture of ricotta cheese is gross to me as well. This is more of, again, like a mozzarella kind of texture. Not that bad. Honestly, that's probably gonna go pretty high on my ranking, which I was not expecting. I'll see you guys tomorrow for a disgusting ravioli recipe. Peter, Bojita is here. Welcome to day five of Chef Boyardee. Why Chef Boyardee? You know, I'm starting to ask myself that exact same question. Whose idea was this? The bad news, yes, we still have to eat more Chef Boyardee. The good news is we are done with the basic stuff. We are moving on. <coughs> Chef Boyardee from yesterday is coming, coming back up. <coughs> we are done with the basic stuff. We are moving on to the specialty recipes. These are recipes that presumably Mr. Chef Boy himself came up with, so they have to be good. Okay, so we don't really need that many things for this recipe. We need some mozzarella cheese. It said a plum tomato. I don't really know what that is. I got a Roma tomato. It's probably about the same thing. We're supposed to have garlic powder. I thought I had garlic powder, but I don't. We do have some fresh garlic cloves, so I'm just gonna chop that up instead. And of course, we can't forget. Oh, wait, no. I forgot something else. Where's the pita bread I put? Where's the. Full speed ahead. Yeah. Let's walk on the wild side. Super Dog is on the case! I'm ready for anything. Give your skin what it's asking for with Billy Body Wash. Like a bright glow, soothing comfort, bouncy moisture, or a purifying detox. New at Walmart and MyBilly.com. Here it is, pita pockets. I assume these are, oh yeah, okay, they're pita pockets. I actually had a hard time finding pita pockets at the store for some reason. And of course we cannot forget the Ravioli, the most important thing for our pita pocket. All right, so I gotta do some ingredient prep real quick. Beautiful. Yummy. 
can for dog. Maybe do you like that? Yeah. She's the biggest Chef Boyardee fan in the house. <laughs> Finely minced garlic. Done by a professional chef. Bam! 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 Mix it up. I don't think I've ever put freshly ground garlic into the microwave before, but hey, this is the first time for everything. This is the wrong gravioli. This is supposed to be the regular, but I use the minis. Sh Whatever, we'll make it work. All right, put this in the microwave for two to three minutes. While that's heating up, we'll cut the pita bread in half. Mix the tomatoes in. And now we just gotta fill them into the pitas and put them into the uh, oven, which I've already preheated to broil for like two to three minutes. Oh yeah, can't forget the cheese. These things are not gonna hold together, holy shit. These things are already leaking through. <laughs> oh my God. I think they're pretty much done. Oh my God, I could not pick these up without them breaking. Hold it together. Dude, these are so busted. I'm just gonna take this whole like hot pan up there into the dish. I'll put something under it. Cause these are not gonna come off of this without falling apart, no way. Here these uh, monstrosities are once again. They might be more, slightly more solidified. No, yeah, these are not gonna come off. They're like so wet. Going to try to get these off. This one looks the most sturdy kind of all right i'm just gonna go for it there we go there it, there it is some of it fell out but uh god <laughs> it's so so sort of holding together uh cheers it's um <laughs> it's okay i think i got sauce on my beard um it's uh it's very soggy as, as you know you might expect if you're putting liquid pasta sauce inside of a thin pita pocket yeah this is what's going to happen well, the positives, the fresh garlic and the tomatoes actually kind of makes it taste a lot better. The mozzarella cheese on top is a nice touch too. This is the part of the video where I'm realizing I didn't bring the napkin. The negatives, this, all of this, yeah, all, all of this. I'm trying to decide like whose idea was this? You could just make this with the garlic powder or fresh garlic, chop up some tomatoes, put a little extra cheese in it and then like serve a side of pita pocket or bread or something. I don't know what the purpose of putting it inside of the pita pocket is, but it was just obviously a terrible idea. I don't know why I had any amount of faith at all that it would work. It doesn't. If you try something this crazy, this is what will happen. It's like a murder scene. So yeah, that is uh f***ing terrible. See you tomorrow. Welcome to day six of Chef Boy RD. Today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. We have the final recipe for tomorrow. But for today we had one of the two that I had to special order. It was delayed and delayed and delayed. I finally got it. We have the spaghetti sauce with meat. This is similar.